Welcome to the channel everybody. My name is Ryan and we are playing Card Survival Tropical Island. This is episode number 44. If you're new to the series and you'd like to see me start from the very beginning, figure out where we came up with the spirit figure for instance, or how we built our stove, well I've got a link to the full playlist down in the description for you, so check that out. But for all my returning viewers, thank you everybody. I appreciate your comments, your tips. I've been invaluable to my knowledge and that's one thing I should mention anybody who is new to the series or just new to the game itself if you start over and you're watching the episodes make sure to check the comment section because there's some really valuable advice basically a full tutorial or walkthrough and of course I highly recommend you start with the hunter character for your first run there is a pretty in-depth character creation in this game but try to focus on him at least for your first one because it is a really brutal and challenging game despite some of the you know cartoonish aspects not to use that in an insulting term just the nature of the graphics may be deceiving to some but there is a hard as nails survival game that lies below the surface here and i'm really anticipating the next game fantasy forest can't wait for it but anyway guys let's dive right into today it is 6 a.m we're very hot hungry and thirsty so his mood is below midpoint which is not great he's fine though he's not actively upset with me he's not ready he's not mutinous at this point but we might get there let's see i think i've got a yeah i've got a coconut here some bananas but uh, most importantly we found a couple conch shells too now these can be stored in our chest until we crack them open they won't go bad they have no durability so that's helpful just taking a little stock of what we got in here. We are close to the end of the dry season, but right now we want to keep our clothes basically off because we can overheat very easily right now. But we're approaching the end of it, I hope. I hope roughly around day 90. So what I think I want to do, we prepared a bunch of delicious food last night. Let's go ahead and grab that. I'm going to put that away. I think the bananas will stay in our bag, but this fried puffball should probably fill us up. Oh yeah, that was a delicious meal. First time we've had the fried puffball, you can see we've got some coconut fish, but that will leave for tonight. That'll be our snack before we go to bed, because we've got a long day ahead of us. So we want to make sure that we are well fed and have something we can just quick and easy munch on right at the end of the night and then fall into our bed. So let's sweep up like any good housekeeper and all right we're gonna exit because we've got a lot of exploring to do guys oh that's right it has been requested that maybe towards since we're so close to the end we're probably going to be okay with water we have found many different ways of getting it we can focus on something other than just doing the same daily routine of survival and that is going to be some heavy focus on survival now let's put this glaze vase back in the banana stump it's almost used up there's almost no more water coming from that thing but we'll collect every last drop and then maybe if he's not too sick of bananas yet we can work on a second one That'll be a good way of like, you know, bypassing our need for salt water every single day. But I think today is going to be a salt water trip. Not to say it'll dominate most of the day, but we are just very hot and I don't have any of it. So if we want to explore, we at the very least, least need some salt water to keep us cool. So let's head to the bay. Now, wait a second. Day... Yeah, the bay is where we want to go. I was just considering if we maybe should go to the jungle outskirts. But no, that's not that's not the most efficient way because there's no water there. Although we did discover a shortcut to the beach through that direction, which is kind of what I was thinking about. But All right, fill them up. Ultimately, just heading straight to the bay. It's a 15-minute walk, and we've got access to the sea. So that's what we need to be doing. All right, we're going to fill it up. It's going to be a heavy trip back. Our walk back is definitely going to take longer than 15 minutes. But hopefully it won't be a full hour in 15. That's where things really start to become tricky. Alright, so let's wash ourselves in the infinite oceans. Wonderful. And let's see. Alright. 45 minutes. That's doable. I think we're right at our limit. If I tried to throw in like a third vase full of water, I think that would either be impossible or it would be 
Oh, damn it. I didn't mean to do this. Oh, my God, guys. I'm screwing everything up. I wanted to leave the area, but we just explored it needlessly for 45 minutes. Yeah, let's get home. Oh, you got to watch those misclicks, guys. They can be a real detriment, too, in addition to the inherent challenge of the gameplay. Mistakes, when you're clicking on your cards, can be fatal. Luckily, I don't think that one will be. Let's go ahead and wash ourselves. And we are exhausted, so let's, um, let's meditate for an hour. Meditation brings with it a stamina recovery, but also a little bit of mental structure, which is always important when you're isolated in the jungle. And let's go ahead and fill up our... Yeah, I should be using the open mouth containers. Get those topped off. Beautiful. And we're going to need to start it up. We've got some leaves left over from our trip. Here we go. Okay, and we will light one. And light the second one. Now this gets put away. And that basically frees us of our duties. Oh, this is regular water. Okay, I think that means the tree stump is done. Yeah, the banana tree is gone, so that gets emptied. Beautiful. Yeah, we've got over 50%, which is, I, I want to say that's really good. That's really good. we got a little extra salt water. Let's just fill this boy up. All right, and that that is everything we really need to do today, other than exploring. So, let's see, we've got a couple of bananas stashed away Weston he comes with us everywhere we don't have a bedroll yet we're still waiting on some more leather but I think it has been recommended that the Highlands I think it was I can't remember which one let me find out okay I just tabbed out to check the comments again and it is the Eastern Highlands we want to go to to find copper so of course we're I don't think we're anywhere near production ready for it but just having some of it will motivate me a little bit more you know if I see it sitting around I should I'll say to myself let's get to work on that but anyway enough talk I think the route that was specified is the western grasslands then to the western highlands so that's good we've already got the card for that let's go ahead and wash just to be careful don't want to overheat these trips can be tedious and hot and again the highlands too i've been told is a hotter region of the of the island here we go now from here we need to explore more until we find an eastern highlands entrance I believe, unless I'm mistaken. So, there we go. There's our exploration for today. And the good news is, too, this is one of the locations where flint is quite available. It's, I think, one of the primary spots for it. There it is. There's some flint. We, I'd love to find some big flint, too. Let's go ahead and just rest. I wonder if maybe because of the rocky nature of this land, we get tired out more often from exploring. I don't know if that's true, but let's wash. Okay, explore. Seeing a lot of the same resources as you do across the island. For instance, lemongrass. We've seen that almost everywhere except maybe the rocks and the beach. But uh, all right, let's keep exploring. And I'll be very deliberate here so I don't misclick anything. I'm going to probably want to wash again. I should have brought the Travoy, but ultimately I don't think we're here for resource gathering. This is a pure exploration trip, unless we happen to find a little bit of flint and copper. Oh, I remember this. So we just discovered a hole. And this is a very unique card for this level here, for this row, simply because it does have a percent on it. That's one ugly drop. There seems to be something down there. Looks like something interesting. Perhaps I could bring a few ropes. So yeah, this is kind of a little event or a mini exploring quest, whatever. We can go below. Oh, does he not? No, I took the rope off of him. That's right. He was wearing a rope, but I, it, it does say multiple ropes, plural. So we'll, this will be a future project. We won't be able to get that today, but it's cool that we found it. All right, let's keep going here. Oh, nope. Uh, explore. Mm, pretty boring stuff so far. I think food-wise, I'm not sure. I want to say mango trees, but no, I might be wrong about that. I'm not sure what this place has to offer. Let's rest a little bit. Wash ourselves. Continue on. 
exploring. 33. Oh, there it is. Almonds. 15 minutes. Let's not worry. Again, exploration is the focus today. Confirm. Should we munch a banana? Yeah, we'll munch a couple. Bananas are pretty filling. There we go. Eat it up, buddy. And let's keep going. I'm gonna wash after this. Oh, where's the big flint? You can see, even though this is definitely this is definitely a flint-producing spot, it's still fairly hard to find. Okay. Oh, oh, geode. I forgot about these. <laughs> Might contain something nice inside. Like what? A cupcake? Oh, does it not fit? Oh wow. Can we squeeze it into the backpack? Oh wow. That thing's actually bulkier than I kind of imagined it, but that's okay. Looks like our ala, aloe still holding up, but um, it's not in great shape, is it? It's all right. Let's keep going. We're not worried about aloe. Ah, flint. Come to me. So the little pieces like that are good for knives, but not for the axe, as far as I know. Plenty of daylight. Still plenty of salt water. Let's keep it up. We're, ex we're exploration machines. We're better than the Portuguese during the great exploration centuries. <laughs> Whatever. Uh, let's see here. Slightly thirsty. You can handle it, buddy. All right. I don't want to push past six o'clock. I think it's probably a good time to turn back. This is our last little bit of salt water. So we've got a couple more here. Okay. Come on. No whammies. Let's uh, let's wash. Yeah, the washing relieves our stress. Not stress, the um, stamina. All right. And one more. One more. <gasps> Eastern Islands, baby. Took us all day, but we discovered it. It looks beautiful, too. Well, we're not going there. We're saving that. We're, we'll hit that up, though. That is definitely a priority. As I mentioned, this is the destination for copper. Kind of the, the grass kind of matches a copper color. Not really, but anyway, let's rest. Okay. And it's time to make the trek home. Don't trip in the hole, buddy. Let's, um, well, hold on. Let's check this tree. Give me some almonds. I said six o'clock. I meant exactly, well, maybe a little over. <laughs> Pretty close to six o'clock. All right, let's go. Could have probably pushed it for a little bit more and got more. Now, the manure actually want that. Give me the seeds, too. Yeah, we want this for our upcoming, when we leave the dry season, we're probably going to try and, I want to maybe grow a sago palm over in our jungle. All right, let's head home. 15 minutes. Um, Ho, ho, ho. I don't think we caught anything. No. But we will rearm it. Hold on, let me look at the Olympics. Okay, they're done. So let's extinguish these so they're not just sitting here burning for no reason. And, okay, real quick, I gotta empty out. I'm just gonna drop that. Drop the seeds for now. There's our dry crop plot. See, we can fertilize that. I'm just gonna hold off though. Now, let's do this. Oh, damn it, that's not what I meant to do. <laughs> Take that. Put that back. Okay, we're getting it. Keeping ourselves above 60% now. We're almost to 70%. Lord, Lord. So what I'm going to do is just fill us up with salt water. Oh, boy, that's it. Um, it's not a big deal. I'm just thinking about tomorrow. I would really love to get out there and explore the Eastern Highlands. But we, we don't need to necessarily get the Olympics going tomorrow. But I do need some water here just so we don't overheat some salt water. But either way, we'll worry about that more in the morning. Let's see, we've got three flint. Pop those out. Okay, how we looking? Let's reset this trap. Nice. And I'm going to go ahead and harvest. Yeah, once we clear this, we'll have a nice, another little nice water source. Okay, and of course, the big goal is to attract some monkeys here. Don't think we're quite ready to domesticate, but still, we need their skins, if nothing else. Some monkey skewer would be delicious. Okay, <laughs> I know it doesn't sound like it, but I probably should have... 
uh, taking a couple of drinks of water while we were out there. Okay, there's our flint collection. Let's see if we can stack it all in there. Beautiful. Yeah, the flint knives. We've got plenty of materials for those now. But when my flint axe breaks, that's it. Okay. We're good. It's not even truly dark yet. Hmm. Wood is fine. The vases and stuff. These don't seem to be under threat from the monkeys. I don't know. Maybe I'm wrong about that. Uh, but I'm leaving them out here. I have been the whole time. So I know these little, this little jar, it is a target for monkeys. So I think it's just a size thing. Speaking of size, look at all this food we've got. This is bursting. I collected three sets of puff balls. Tell you what, let's spend our time. Oh, and I still haven't opened up any more recipes or anything to unlock, unfortunately. It's very sad. Wait, I got coconut water? Shoot, should have drank that. Put that in there. Drink it. Drop the harpoon. Okay, so let me see here. Didn't I drop a coconut that was perforated or did we use that? I can't remember. Either way, real quick, let's go ahead and process are the almonds. Um, no, on second thought, that's not what I'm going to be doing right now with my time. These almonds, I think if we crack them, they'll start to deteriorate until I roast them. Unless I'm mistaken. So those we'll just throw in there kind of as a backup. I've got some stuff like that. The conches and that urchin. All could give us some calories if we got really, really desperate. This tea needs to be drank. I'm going to keep that in my inventory right now until I decide to drink it in the morning. All right, so let's go to our foods. Fried puff balls. There we go. I am going to build a couple of these, I think, because I got the three of them. There's that. Let's just build it. Nice. Oh, look, we've still got just enough time to squeeze out one more here. We're going to kind of cheat things. Oh, crap. Never mind. I was wrong. The coconut fish is taking up all my cooking space. That's all right. We can just wait till the morning then for this because he's not even truly hungry yet. Keep that there. Throw that in the pot. Mm. All right. I think we'll just hit the sack early. So much depends on us having a good day tomorrow. Productive. I think sleeping, it's advisable. Okay. After two back-to-back -back naps, he is now hungry again. Let's eat it up. Yeah, that meal actually gives us a little hydration too. Well, that was well-timed because now we've actually got the light to build it. I'll throw that in the cooling cooking pot. We'll cook that up tomorrow. Okay, coconut water. Actually, I'll just leave that for now. No, that's my little pot. I need that, actually. Drink it. Drink it. Okay. We're good. Don't need the oil. No, don't drink the oil, buddy. Let's put that down. How's the place? Let's sweep it. Give him a little bit of happiness boost. Clean up the place. All right. I think we're ready to go. Yep, still don't have those skins. That thing's been sitting there forever, but it's okay. Um, yeah, so we like as I mentioned, we've got to go to the bay. I think it's advisable then just to do a full trip. It takes a little bit of time. It's not the end of the world. Right, I am actually going to put this away. Yeah, okay. And let's go. Slap that guy in there. Bay time it is. This is going to be a quick trip. Because I am really excited to see what we can find. The Eastern Highlands. In fact, I might unload... Oh, I forgot the geode. Yeah, I was going to say I might need to unload some stuff that I usually carry around. Just for as much capacity as possible. In case we get lucky. I don't know how much we'll find, but... There we go. All right, we can wash ourselves. And we're headed back. 45 minutes. It's the price we pay for having fresh water. Speaking of which, let's set it up. Awesome. 
Just fill it right on up there, my friends. Okay. And definitely want to get the fire started. So let's grab this out of here. The geode's coming out. I'll just toss that into the shed. The fishing line is next to nothing. This is coming out. I think we're fine. Encumbrance wise, we'll be down very low once this is all put away. All right, there's that. Good, so those are set. Geode, you get rolled into the shed. I'll just flop that stuff away. All right, let's do that. And now we're good. See, I has equipment levels very low. We will rest and we're off. That's it, 7 a.m. We got all our chores. We got our chores done, Mom. Can we go out and explore? All right, let's do it. Yes, looking good. Okay, do I have any food? Yeah, I got a couple bananas just in case. Let's go. Um, so we said, yeah, it was the grasslands, one of my favorite spots on the island. But I have a feeling I'm going to get to like the eastern highlands too quite a bit. So let's travel. Watch out for the hole, buddy. All right, it's time to take a little break here. Wash. Rest it up. We're arriving before 9 a.m. Right on time. Okay, a fresh new site to discover. Look at this. Yes. Okay, let's give ourselves a little water. Time to explore. Oh, wow. <laughs> yeah, this is pretty standard stuff, but that's okay. Oh, lots of stone. That makes sense, makes sense. Oh, I'm pushing him. I just noticed he was tired. All right, let's rest and wash. Boom. Fill that up. I don't think we're going to be picking up flint right now. Certainly not the little flints. We've got plenty of it. I mean, maybe if we get to the end of the day and we're ready to go home and we're like, we haven't had any other luck, we'll take that then. But otherwise, we're here to explore. Okay. And hold on, one thing I just noticed. Oh, okay. Yeah, I was going to say our equipment is still pretty good in terms of endurance or durability. Even the hat. It's going to be fine for now. Rest and wash. Although I notice he's not quite overheating as quickly as some of the other places. It is, I can kind of hear a gentle breeze in the background here. I see the, the clouds passing overhead. One thing I'm not seeing is copper yet, though. That's okay. Flint. Yeah, he's he's feeling good. There's no... Oh, his happiness has gone up quite a bit, too. Oh, eastern grasslands. Beautiful. We got to take a look at that eventually, not the moment. All right, he's hot. Let's just hold off on the water for now. See what happens. Okay, it's noon. Plenty of time. All right, he's, he's getting up there. We might be able to get past 50% today. I dare not say 100%, but you never know. The flint. The flint. Oh, we're getting sleepy. That's okay. We'll push him. Hey, there it is. Flint slab. Now this. Bonk, that's going in the backpack. 100%. Let's wash. Come on. Nice, and we will rest. He needs to nap. You're not napping out here in the middle of the grass. See, this is where that uh, sleeping bag would come in handy, because then we could make this a multi-day thing, you know? Just munch on a banana occasionally. We're fine. But we're going to make... Oh, ho, ho, ho. what is that, ladies and gentlemen? Though, we just got a new blueprint. Yes, this is all coming together at the forge. The forge is here. Should smelt into a forge a more powerful kiln. Yeah, I think we, we're we going to need to get that um, the bellows made. And of course, the forge, obviously. All right, we're not done. Just getting started. Okay, let's um, wash. He is getting tired, though. We should turn home soon. Soon, soon, soon. Oh, ah. Oh, bro. We need food. This would do this would help with those skins that we've been having too. Let's go, let's go. 
I don't know how deadly goats are, but I can't imagine they're worse than the boars. Okay, turns around, tries to escape. Pierce's eye collapsed at the floor. Got ourselves a goat carcass, ladies and gents. Oh, that's our first goat? No way. Oh, so we found like another little mission here. Yeah, there's room for dig out. No, we're not going to do that now. Obviously, we'll move that up to the front. We found a little hole. <laughs> it was a pretty big hole, actually. It's a little mission, though. Kind of setup thing you can do. And that's in the other Highlands area. Back behind us. Speaking of which, I think it's time to leave. Oh, it's only a 45-minute walk with our goat boy here. Let's wash ourselves. I think I, I'd rather carry this thing home. Yeah, then try and butcher it up here now. And then carry all the bits and pieces home. Let's let's make the extra effort. We'll leave. Whew. Eastern Highlands, man. A real bonanza. There's the hole. <laughs> We're not climbing down yet. Those will be something we can do at a separate point. Jungle Highlands is next. Uh, let's not push it, though. Let's rest. Okay. And here we go. Should be heading home after this one. Wait, did I go the wrong way? Wait. Oh, no. I went the wrong way. Um, there's the wetlands cliff. Did we make it? Passed out. Oh, thank God. As long as we didn't hurt ourselves. All right, well, that was not how I intended it to go, but... We got lucky. I got extremely lucky there. Oh, we made it home. Traps are a dinging away. The Olympics are finished. It's glorious. We've got ourselves a brand new project here with that goat. I think we will just take a breather, buddy. Just chill out for a moment. I know you're probably extremely pissed at me. Let's eat. Let's drink our little water. Fill it up, buddy. Okay, so we're out of salt water, but I don't think that's going to be too much of an issue right now. Let's grab this. Good. Right back in there. Awesome. Look at that. We're up to 60% fresh water. I think the next collection of bananas will set us up with the tree stump. I think. Maybe there's two more rounds of collection, but I'll deal with these traps in the morning. Um, I think we need to get inside and... Worry about that goat. Actually, he's pretty tired. We might do it in the morning. It's 8 p.m. Well, because in order to process the goat, we got to start the fire. I don't think we can just sit here and skin it like this. Can I? No, not in the dark. So, let's grab the big old flint slab. <laughs> let's see real quick. Tools, flint axe. Okay. I'll just leave this up because I think the second stage is the flint slab. But yeah, there it is. That'll just keep me in mind to craft that. Okay, it's time for rest. Time for bed. I'm just going to drop that too. Dang, no, wait. What about the geode? As I recall, the geode crack open in an hour. Wow. It just gives us, it potentially could give us like a nice little sparkly crystal, which we can display. And I think that's the same basic functionality as the spirit figure. We put that like on a shelf that we can build here in our shack and it just beautifies the place, makes it nicer and stuff. And of course that improves our mood as we sit in here because we definitely spend lots of time in here. So let's go ahead and take our double naps and we wake up at 4 a.m. on the dot. Perfect, perfect. Now let's see. Um, we've got this uncooked, two uncooked puffer balls. You know what? I think we can leave them because once we cook them, that will reset the durability on them. Let's go ahead and just... Oh, there's the perforated coconut I was looking for earlier. Duh. Let's go ahead and just eat some bananas for this morning because it's a big day. They're all big days, but yeah, today is always special. Let's see... All right, we're fine in here. Now we are out of salt water, so we definitely need to get some for cooling off. It's funny, at some point during the um, dry season, salt water is just now for drying off, cooling off. Like, we've got enough fresh water. 
Oh boy, sorry about that. I actually ran out of space on my drive, so I had to switch to a different drive for my recording output. But anyway, that just goes to show you I need to switch some stuff over to external storage. But I really appreciate everybody stopping by. I think that's probably a good place to end things on here today. So we will continue to process the GOAT in the next episode. Thank you once again for everybody who's been tuning in leaving me comments i hope you'll consider hitting that like button if you're enjoying the series so far subscribe to the channel and i will see you guys on the next one thank you for watching the video everybody i just want to take a moment to recognize my patreons as you can see i put their names in gold because they are in fact more precious than that shiny metal now i'd like to take a moment to invite you to also support the channel for as little as two five or ten dollars you gain access to all my content early and ad free over on patreon as well as a private discord server with me and my other patreons where we do some giveaways and have great conversations but once again thank you everybody and I'll see you on the next one.